Chicken farms in the United States are notoriously hard to access if you're not already involved in the industry. But one American farmer, contracted to a meat processing company, has thrown open the barn doors and revealed some of the trade's darkest secrets to our correspondent, Maria Fenoshina. They are basically putting stuff on labels and putting stuff in advertisements that is so far removed from what's actually happening in those barns. The birds are and diseases and that bacteria that's an entry point for it it's got to affect the meat there's just no way it can't it was like non-stop e coli salmonella people getting sick and i'm sure some people died from it the bedding is basically a mixture of dirt sawdust their feces is bacteria laden without something in that feed those birds couldn't survive what do you think is there actually is the pharmaceuticals that would be in that feed and they and it doesn't matter whether it's no antibiotics or antibiotics they're still getting drugs it's just not classified as antibiotics it's not that everything is growing so fast it's there's certain parts that are growing fast it's the breast meat that, that they've been bred for to, to be plumper the side effect of that that big breast is the organs cannot function properly to keep up with that rapid growth meaning their organs give out meaning heart attacks how many die let's say a day or... uh, a day no they don't it varies a day I i'll lose about a thousand the entire flock this is a terrible smell i can tell you it even hurts my eyes to be honest yeah the ammonia will, will sting them a little bit i feel really bad i'll, I'll be outside okay, okay. Craig, you said what's written here is far from reality. Exactly what is not true? Uh, raised cage free, you saw it. That's what they call cage free. Uh, you can cram them in there till they can't move, but if there's not a cage in there, they call them cage free. And no hormones or steroids. It's been outlawed since the 70s. It means nothing. It's meaningless. Just saying, you know, like the sky's blue kind of thing. Is that going to grab your attention? Is it? I mean, really? Um, actually, yes, yes. I would say would've. yes. Yeah. The, the FDA. Or well, the USDA, who's ever in charge for the misbranding or mislabeling, needs to get in on this. Now, the kicker is the USDA is not coming in here with their own third party standards. They're taking the standards that the industry wrote for themselves. And they're just taking that checklist. And if Purdue is doing what it, Purdue says it's doing, they make 100. It's like you get a dishonest kid grading his own test paper. Look, Mom, I made 100. That kind of thing. That's the way I see it. It's a joke. Nothing wrong with anybody making money and nothing wrong with a corporation making money. But when you start walking on people's backs, it's a whole different story. Was it Kissinger that said control the nations, control the oil, control the food and you control the people? We're, we're close. Do you eat yourself or do you meat? No. Maria Fenoshina reporting there.